Welcome back to Diabetes Every Day and today we are going to be talking about fruit because I keep getting this question asked day in day out from when I'm doing coaching sessions with people with diabetes uh, and so I figured that this is a really good time, perfect time because it's summertime and there are so many uh, seasonal fruits available right now that this would be a perfect opportunity to talk about fruit. So one of the key messages that I want to explain is that it's not so much about the sugar, because I hear that a lot, there's too much sugar in fruit. We are looking at actually total carbohydrates. So when you're looking at food labels, whether it's for uh, canned fruit or uh, frozen fruit or dried fruit or any packaging, we're looking at total grams of carbohydrates. So that's the line that you're looking at. With fruit, yes, it does contain sugar. It's a complex carbohydrate. So it's not necessarily that it's going to go into your bloodstream and raise your blood sugar immediately. Portion size is the second message of, is what's really important. So what I'm gonna show you today are all equal to a 15 gram carbohydrate portion size. And that's what we go by with, um, when we're teaching about carbohydrate counting, it's easy on the math to do in 15 gram increments. So you'll see that often in, in any of the diabetes uh, nutrition information, 15 gram carbohydrate portion sizes. So to make it less confusing, I am going to tell you for all of these fruits, what a 15 gram car carbohydrate portion size is. Uh, and what we're gonna look at is the serving size, the portion that you can have for 15 grams, one carb choice or 15 grams. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with, um, I, probably the easiest to remember is the, the whole fruit. Um, and I have it kind of grouped here. It's one small apple or one small orange or a kiwi. The whole fruit is equal to 15 grams of carb. For the peach, it's a medium-sized peach. So small apple, small orange, a kiwi, or a medium uh, peach. So that's one for all for a 15 gram portion size, each of those servings that I mentioned. With the banana, uh, the literature says a small banana, uh, but I know for measurement, I usually use my pointer finger to measure. It's about this amount of the banana. Um, for a 15 gram portion size. So uh, when we go into the melons, the portion sizes are um, also available. One and one quarter cup cubed watermelon is a 15 gram portion. For um, the strawberries, one and one quarter cup of whole strawberries is a portion. For blueberries, three quarters cup is a portion of that 15 grams of carbohydrate. For cherries, that's individual numbers, 12 cherries, 12 whole cherries. For grapes, 17 whole grapes. And uh, this, the, another message to you too is it depends on the type of fruit it is. So these were all fresh whole fruits. But when you go into a dried fruit, the portion size you see gets a little bit smaller two tablespoons for any of the dry fruits. So you see the whole grapes versus the raisins here. So it all depends on which portion you're in the mood for um, and which of these you may wanna be choosing. They're all equivalent, what you're seeing here. I've been talking about fresh fruits for the most part here, and I also wanted to mention about canned or frozen fruits. One of the benefits that you have from canned or frozen is that you have a nutrition facts label there so that you can see as a reminder what the serving size is and in this one it's a half a cup for this no added sugar um, peaches half a cup is only nine grams of carbohydrate so that's about half um, so we could have a full cup for the 15 gram portion check your food labels in general canned fruits and frozen fruit a half a cup is generally the serving size. Uh, go with the light or the no sugar added instead of the fruits that have any syrup in it and check the food label. So I want to make sure to emphasize rather, eat fruit. 
fruit is so important. It provides so many nutrients, vitamins, minerals, fiber, lots of benefits from fruit. So I don't want you to be avoiding it thinking that there's too much sugar. Remember, we're looking at total grams of carb and you can have fruits, have them with your meal and um, don't, I don't want to say don't leave home without them. Uh, make sure that you're including fruits in, in your daily meal plan. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Just hit the red button, subscribe.